hello hello it's LaShonda Henry here aka Sister Sense welcome welcome to another back on track edition so that I can talk to you about some things that you can do to get back on track in your business especially for those of you who are feeling behind hopefully I am right on time so today back on track series number five tip is to focus on your follow-throughs and your follow-ups this is really really important so I'm gonna dive in today in a big way. And before I get into the good, good meat and potatoes of the conversation, this is actually part two, round two. <laughs> I started this on the porch, but then it was super hot. And um, I think this is the final time I'm going to try and do a porch session for a while uh, because it's just full effect heat. And then the iPhone dies, the temperature gets high. And I think I'm just going to stay on the power purple couch uh, for the next couple of sessions. Hopefully that'll work out much better. That aside, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure that you are, if you're watching, the, oh Lord, see, this is why I don't do it inside. <laughs> I've got the hot mess. She needs a, a serious brush. I've got little Prinaman wanting some attention. You want some attention? If you're watching the replays, feel free to drop into the comment box hashtag replays rocks and then of course if you are here to share make sure that you do share this particular web class if you feel there are a few people in your circle who need to hear it too so thank you for joining me once again you know i'm a geeky girl so let me get the glasses on right <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back, Anissa. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning back in with me. So I'm going to jump start right at the very beginning again and talk about, again, follow-ups and follow-through. It's so important for you to do this if you want to get back on track with your business. So the first thing I said that I want you to do is I want you to ask yourself... Who should you be checking in with right now? Should you be checking in with people that are on your email list? Do you need to check in with people who have asked you questions? Maybe people who you asked a question of and you need to reach out and connect with them. Customers, clients, people who for whatever reason said, listen, I want to work with you. Or you have a list of people you want to work out with, with, with and you reached out to them and they haven't reached back out to you. Make your list of people that you want to follow up with. That's the first part of our conversation for today. Hello. I know, right? Fluffy cuteness, this one. So this follow-up conversation, the first part of today's session is actually from the Position to Profit Planner, which you will find as part of the Cash Flow Goals series. So the first thing that I mentioned to you is we've been talking about for the last few days different things that you can do as part of the Cash Flow Goals 7-Day Calendar. We talked about Two Tools Tuesday, Wow and Win Wednesday, Throwback Thursday. So if you have decided to put any of those things or even other things out there, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're following up just to say, hey, you know, I checked in with you, I shared this resource or this offer. If it's something that you need, do you want it? Go and get it if you didn't get it before. Because as I mentioned before, there are times when in our lives we see things that are really awesome and we want to go get it, but then we don't because we let other things come into our life, other responsibilities. So having opportunities where people check in and follow up where we fall off is so important. You expect others to do that for you. Well, at least you hope others to do that for you. As an entrepreneur, you should be doing that for your community too. So I also mentioned that for Two Tools Tuesday, I shared some of my favorite good good, like the Magic Timer, which I absolutely love. I'm going to turn it back on now that I'm in the office. I think I will do 30 minutes and turn the timer back on. Awesome. So I'll keep that in the side over here somewhere. Can I? Can you see it? All right, good. So it's in the corner. Um, and then I also <laughs> talked about, I've got the big ring light glowing on me right now um and i also shared this one in a previous tools tuesday um i know it looks like a strange contraption but basically it's a mobile ring light uh you put your mobile device in here the light shines on you here and then you clamp it onto wherever you want to usually i clamp it onto my desk using this goodie here and then it's a usb how awesome is that so then i just plug it into uh my my computer when I'm at my desk. Now, this is totally random, 
but my my office is a combination of purple and blue uh, and I've got so many beautiful pieces that are turquoise. So I found this extension cord, which I tend to use when I'm outside on the porch. And I love it, number one, because it's turquoise blue. But number two, it's got USB. So I don't even have to worry about finding the wall charger. I can just plug my USB right into this bad boy and do what I need to do. So when you can find chargers that nowadays, you know, with technology, they're upgrading. So not only do they have the traditional plugs, but the USB outlets too, amazing. Random, but it's sitting here because I had it in my bag when I was on the porch just a while ago that I felt like I wanted to share. Now, here's the reason why I'm sharing this again. I know, right? I need all of those. <laughs> Go get all of those. I'm sharing these because as Mentor Shelly was just like, I need this, I need this. Hey, Cree, I love that, awesome. So I'm sharing these because number one, even though I shared them before, sharing things again is important because keep in mind, not everybody goes and gets it the first time around. Some people go, oh, this is awesome and they forget. Make sure, by the way, as I'm sharing this with you today, you go to www.sissasense.com forward slash B-O-T-G. That's where you get your free PDF back on track guide for this web class series. So all the resources and tools that I share with you, plus the replays to these web classes, those links are in that free PDF. So one of the links is for my favorite top tools that I use in my business. So like the ring lights, the little one and the big one and the magic timer, all these good goods are there. And those links take you to Amazon so that if you want them, you can go get them. So it's like, where, exactly, right? <laughs> Korea's like, where, where did you get that? Amazon. <laughs> so uh, when you go to, and see, I, I, I we were in sync. As you were typing, Cree, where did you get that? I, I got you. I, I'm ready for you, right? So keep in mind, again, when you go to sistersense.com, that's me, S-I-S-T-A-S-E-N-S-E.com forward slash B-O-T-G, right? That's the link. Okay, you want me to, I'll say it one more time. I'll slow it down a little bit because I know I talk fast. Sistersense.com, that's me, forward slash B-O-T-G, okay? B-O-T-G stands for a Back on Track Guide. And it's funny because I think it was maybe yesterday or the day before that, one of the things I talked about is the importance of throwback, throwback Thursday. Thank you for dropping the link into the comment box, Mentor Shelly. I talked about throwback Thursday, the importance of bringing back your offers from before. And in this case, I'm talking about you following up and reminding people of the things that you've mentioned before. This is important because even though you may feel like, oh, I don't want to be annoying or repetitive or say it again and again, keep in mind, some people need to hear it again. Some people need to hear it for the first time because there are probably people who've never watched me before, never saw the Back on Track series before, and they go, oh, that's awesome, mind blown. I want to check out those tools, right? So whether you watch the other replays and you did a Tuesday tools or a Wednesday wow and win or a throwback Thursday, follow up Friday is a great day to check in with your community and say, hey, just a friendly reminder, this is something that I talked about this week. If you didn't get it, go get it, right? So follow up Friday, by the way, is one of the days in the seven day cash flow calendar and the position to profit planner. Now, these two, as I've been sharing with you, are currently in what I like to call the catch-up kit. The catch-up kit is a combination of several of the resources that I've created, and just for this particular series, during this series, I've reduced the rate to a lot of these resources to $10 because I want to make sure that if you need to get back on track, budget is not a concern. You can download a lot of these good goods and dive into the content. So, one of the things that you've got to do is make sure that you are consistently sharing something with your audience. One of my sis signature sister sense sayings is always have something to S, always have something to say, always have something to sell, and always have something to share. I need you to check in with you and figure out if you've been consistently saying, selling, or sharing things this week proactively. Because don't just assume. A lot of newbies assume that the website is going to do it all. I'm a web designer, so trust me, I know. A lot of people assume, assume that once they put up the website and they just send people to the website, things are just supposed to happen. Movement is supposed to happen. A lot of that movement and momentum comes with you proactively having 
having conversations, whether it be written, visual, or even graphic conversations or infographics, where you're showing people and directing people towards your latest good good, as I like to say, right? Your good goods. So make sure that if you don't have it, you go and get your cash flow goals guide and position to profit planner while you can still get that two part um resource for ten dollars and again all of those links are inside of your back on track guide so first thing i said to you is i want you to take this opportunity to reflect on who you need to check in with this day this follow-up friday whether it be and let me by the way as i'm going through this i'm not sure if i showed you that particular page inside of the workbook Prin, what are you eating come here give it give it Lord, do you see this? <laughs> this used to be the cap of a water bottle until she got to, and then she's going to chew it, and then all of a sudden I'm going to hear somebody in the, <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> like, what are you chewing? It's like having a baby, you know? And I, what I love about having a little Maltese, one, I love small dogs, but side note number two, uh, for every person who ever comes to me, like maybe they've come to you and said, well, you having another one right here. If I need to coddle something, if I need to take her up in my arms and feel like I got a newborn again, all right here. <laughs> everything you ever wanted uh, or everything you ever forgot about having a baby, you have when you have a dog, just for real. Okay, sit down right there. So, um, so here is the follow up Friday, uh, work page inside of the position to profit planner, which also is with the audio series as well. Um, and on this page, it says, uh, use this worksheet to create a list of people you need to follow up with and the offers you would like to share with each person, right? So uh, that's something that y'all are laughing at me right now. That's, <laughs> that's something that you can do um, as part of this series. And of course, for those of you who are here, remember sharing is caring. Feel free to share this or tag somebody who needs to be a part of the Power Circle Back on Track series. And of course, if you're watching the replays, remember you can drop into the comment box. Hashtag replays rock. So... Absolutely. Thank you for dropping that in the comment box, Anissa. Always make sure you have something to say, something to sell, and something to share. You want to build your credibility. You want people consistently coming to you more often. Think about how much time you spend online in the background, behind everybody else, behind the scenes, quietly lurking, when you should be patiently, persistently present doing more things that are putting you in the forefront so that people remember you and the value that you offer, okay? So let's talk about a couple of types of people that you should be following up with, okay? Uh, now for me, I have quite a few on this list, so hopefully you guys got your notebook or your notepad out. Print them in. I gotta do this. Kisses. She's like, are you going to hold me forever? Are you going to hold me forever? Mommy, I got, I got to do this. I got to hold you down. I can't hold you and everything else. Okay? So, first thing that you need to do, top priority always for me, follow up with your clients. And there are different types of clients that we are going to talk about today. Okay? Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I try to always bring that high energy positivity for you guys. First thing you need to do is think about what clients are, <laughs> who do you need to follow up with as far as your clients are concerned? So um, I've got so many wonderful clients that I'm working with right now. I've got my web clients and I'm building websites for quite a few ladies in my circle. Uh, and then I have clients, my VIP clients that I do different types of projects with. So I do web design, graphics design, and layout design. Uh, one of my clients, we are doing the second issue, and I keep telling you guys about it, and I keep forgetting to bring the magazine with me. The second issue of Caribbean Health Awareness. This was the first issue. Uh, and so I finished the second issue for him. Uh, we're proofing it right now so it can launch September 1st. Super, super excited about that. Here is my client, Dale. He's a surgeon. So awesome. Uh, and just really, really always enjoy working with him. We've been working together for years. Here's a great article on why I left Dominica. Dale is actually from Dominica. Um, and it's so amazing, all the different Caribbean islands and just places that you weren't familiar with. I remember meeting him and I was like, oh, Dominican Republic. And he's like, no, Dominica. I was like, oh. 
oh, okay, <laughs> that's somewhere else, somewhere new for me to know about, right? Um, but working with clients on different projects, um, what was the featured project for this one? Oh, this was one of my favorites here, the core one, childhood obesity in the Caribbean. This was one, one was an interesting one. And I've got a little, I've got a little fluffy fella at home. And we got him in Taekwondo trying to work out the love handles because good Lord, getting him uniform pants this year was challenging. <laughs> so these are some great articles in here. Um, and here's another magazine that I did for one of my other clients. Uh, Kim, such a beautiful spirit, girlfriend connect. Uh, and here is Kim here. She's always got these beautiful uh, activities and social events for black women who are 40 plus. Um, that is her branding, a magazine for the 40 plus black woman. How do you know your black is beautiful? Um, checking in with my clients to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do either completing their projects, number one, or number two, telling them, listen, your project is in the queue and I'm checking in with you just to let you know I still got what I need to do for you and it's coming in a few days. That's important. So who do you need to check in with client-wise? By the way, side note, helping you either design a magazine or design your own e-course or e-books or challenges, your digital content, your physical content, your sales pages, these are all things that I can help you do. I have recently launched my Look, Learn, Launch program, which a allows me to work with you on either one to four projects. And if you're curious about Look, Learn, Launch, what you want to do is either go to sissasense.com forward slash DWY, which stands for Done With You Services, things that we can do together, combining your great content with my superpower technical and graphic skills. You can also find that is inside the Back on Track guide underneath the resources support services. So sissasense.com forward slash B-O-T-G. You already know the sister sense. What you really got to write down is B-O-T-G. B-O-T-G for the back on track guide, number one. Number two, D-W-Y, which stands for done with you. Okay, so those two uh, resources can provide you with some direction. Magazines are beautiful. Thank you, my dear. You know, it's funny because... A lot of times people try to figure out how can I monetize? How can I make more money? And for me, I blogged a lot in the beginning and I was using my blog for marketing, but then I realized, man, I have all of this content on my blog. Let me do something else with it. I didn't have the time to make a book. So I said, make a magazine because in magazines, I can self-publish shorter articles, which is a little bit easier than writing a book. Uh, but what's interesting is me turning my blog content into a magazine, people started to say, oh my gosh, the magazine is so beautiful. Who did it? And I was like, I did it. So I started to either teach people because I have a training on how to make your own magazine. And then I offer as a VIP service how to do this. I do that for clients because some clients want the done with you versus other clients who want the DIY, right? Uh, great quality work and great content. Ah, thank you, Eve Michelle. I appreciate that. Um, so even in me sharing that, this is kind of like a multi-level conversation because number one, if this is something that you're curious about or self-branding, self-publishing, certainly something that I can share and teach you, um, specifically the magazine, but it's one of many products that I create and using the information that I've got in here. E-courses and e-books, yeah, you can create that kind of digital content, but there's so many other kinds of digital content that you can create too. That's number one. But more importantly, it's the follow-up and follow-through that this conversation is around. Making sure that you identify the different types of people you should be checking up with, especially on Follow-Up Friday. And for me, I always start with my clients, right? Because they pay in me. So... <laughs> They're keeping the lights on, right? You know, so I gotta always make sure I follow up with my clients first, right? So think about that. Who are, if any, clients that you need to connect with so that you're making sure either you've got their stuff done or at the very least you're letting them know where you are in the process of doing the things that you've set out to do for them, okay? Uh, number two, your email list. How often are you guys checking in with your email list? OK, just drop in the comment box out of curiosity how often you guys are checking in with your email list. Maybe some people will say never. Maybe some people will say at least once a month or at least once a week. I try to check in with my email list 
usually at least two to three times a week. And I know for some people that might be a lot, but the reality is, is that most companies are checking in with people every single day. So at least two to three times a week really is not a lot. And some of you are in a space where you're holding yourself back from communicating with clients in your email list because you don't want people to unsubscribe, but you doing nothing and that list sitting there is doing nothing for you. If people are gonna unsubscribe, they're gonna unsubscribe. And I'm telling you, a lot of times they unsubscribe and then two, three, four, five, six months later, they come right the hell back on the list because they're ready for it again, right? So I'm seeing too much of nevers and not enoughs and I need more marketing. You've gotta be consistent about following through with this stuff. Some of this stuff, and I tell you guys this all the time and I need to remind, you are confused, not because you don't know what to do, but because you won't do what you know. You know email marketing is an integral part of what you need to do, but you're not sticking with the follow through. You're not sticking with the follow through. So here's a simple email that you can send out to your client base. And simply this, follow up with them around the latest thing that you've shared. Okay, around the latest thing, right? A magazine is something that I thought about. Awesome. I mean, it's definitely something that I love to do for myself and for clients too, right? Um, automation, definitely, Michelle. Automation is definitely essential. Um, I'll say two things about email follow-up and I'll talk about the marketing message. Just as a side note, I do have the Smart Start Business Bundle. The link is in your Back on Track guide. This holiday weekend, it's half off, right? The Back on Track Bundle is half off. Inside of, because there are different variations of the bundle, the GoPro Premium Bundle, there is a course in there to help you put together an easy email newsletter, a 12-part automated newsletter. That course is in there as part of the Back on Track Bundle. So when you look at the Premium Bundle, the easy, easy newsletter that helps you automate and set this stuff up, it's in there. Because I want you guys to not just start, but complete. It's the follow through that's going to help you get back on track. That's just a side note recommendation. And again, the link to that is in your back on track PDF, which is absolutely free at sisasense.com forward slash B-O-T-G for back on track guide. Okay. Now, I launched the Smart Start Bundle this week, uh, and I shared that out with my community. Um, I think I shared that out, I don't know. I <laughs> shared it out sometime this week. I don't want to tell you a day that it wasn't. Now, I say that to say this. One of the things that you need to do outside of clients is follow through and follow up with your email list. So sending out an email today to simply say, um, here is what you need to know about the Smart Start Business Bundle. Um, there are different things that you can share. Number one, you can just simply share a reminder of here. This is something that I released. For me, I'm actually sending out an email. If you're on my email list, you'll get it in a few hours. Ends tomorrow. Okay, what ends tomorrow? Well, right now, because a holiday weekend is where we are right now, uh, the half off promotion for the Smart Start Bundle ends tomorrow. So I'm sending that out to my list today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to send out another email that says last call. And if you follow different coaches or entrepreneurs or business owners online, you will see that those who are successful are consistently checking in with their community to follow up. Because guess what? Sometimes we need those messages. And again, don't let those unsubscribes deter you from doing what you need to do to follow through with your email marketing, right? It's a simple message. Me making sure that I'm saying, hey, by the way, if you didn't get it and you want it for half off, you make sure that you go and get your Smart Start Business Bundle. Because Literally, the $10 version is going to be $5 this weekend until tomorrow. You know, the $30 version is $15. The $200 version is $100. I mean, being in a space where not only you follow up and let people know, here's the offer, but you also talk about what opportunities are ending is very, very important. So make sure that you're thinking about not just selling, oh, this is a great offer with a great price and great features, but time-sensitive opportunities that are ending, they also need to be a part of the conversation. So following up with clients, number one, following up with your email list, number two, following up with your partners. So for me, I have affiliate partners. If you want to be one of my affiliate partners, by the way, when you go to the Smart Start Bundle, look for the link that says join the affiliate program, look for the link that says partner program at the top right, right hand corner, 
click it and sign up. Literally it takes you two minutes. You become an affiliate partner so that when you share this particular resource with your client base or your entrepreneurial friends and you're like, oh my God, I love Sister Sense, you should go and grab her stuff too. You can learn and earn. You make a commission, anywhere between 15 to 25% commission while you are sharing those affiliate links with people that you know, right? So for me, I'm checking in with my partners to say, listen, you need to let your people know that the half off offer ends tomorrow. So go and send the link out, do a live stream, tweet it out, do what you need to do <laughs> to check in with your community and let them know that, right? You've got to keep your team updated to what they need to be doing. You've got to check in with your customers to make sure that everybody's on the same page. And you've got to make sure that you are checking in with your email list so that they know what's happening in your business. So identify for yourself one, two, three, who you should be checking in with today. Okay. So as I'm saying this, I'm going to take a power pause because I need to drink some water. Feel free to drop into the comment box. Number one, one thing that you are going to share with your community. Number one, number two, one type of person that you are going to follow up with. Number two, and number three, one thing that you say, you know what? I need to follow through here. I dropped the ball, you know, on this one. I need to do some follow through, right? So think about those things. Drop your responses into the comment box. Feel free to check in with me anytime. Sense at gmail.com. Remember, sharing is caring. Share out this particular web class to somebody who needs to hear it and or drop into the comment box, has, box hashtag replays rocks. rocks. <laughs> Tongue tied. This is why I need to drink my water. Drop into the comment box, hashtag replays rock if you're watching the replays. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, welcome. You looking at me drinking my water? You've got water. You can drink your water, mama. Did you eat all your pepperoni? I need to boil some chicken today. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I boil her chicken legs or chicken uh, tenderloins, and she just, she sees the, the boiled chicken, and she's like, is it for me? Is it for me? <laughs> she gets, like, super, super excited. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so thinking about again and feel free to drop into the comment box either some things you're going to follow through on or specific people you're going to follow up with definitely feel free to share those not only just for me but also to affirm what you're going to do for yourself okay so so we talked about different types of things that you need to follow up on if you have for any reason, just as a friendly reminder, if there's anything in particular that you've put out or tried to promote this week, hey, Michelle, Shannon, welcome, welcome. If there's anything in particular that you guys have tried to put out or promote this week, number one, take this opportunity to shamelessly self-promote and say hashtag promotion, share it, okay? Share that thing that you're trying to promote. That's number one. But number two, I need you to check. What did you do to promote that thing sometime this week? Go back and do it again. Repetition, 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 right? Go back and do it again. Maybe some people needed to see it before, that they saw it before, but they need to see it again. Maybe some people didn't see it before, and today is Friday. TGIF, they're in a position where they can see it now or sometime during the weekend. The weekend is awesome. This is when people have more free time on their hands. Take advantage of that. So check if you have done any promotions this week, what did you try to promote? What did you do to promote it? Follow up, do it again today, okay? Love, love, love the weekends. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm talking to you about the weekends. I have a training and it's called 17 Weekend Profit Projects. Things that you can do to make some extra money in your free time or to boost your cash flow goals. And if you haven't participated in that webinar training, guess what? It's actually one of the resources inside of what I call the catch-up kit. The catch-up kit is also one of the resources in your back Back on track guide. Sizzlesense.com forward slash B O T G, the back on track free PDF 
right? So one of those resources is the 17 Profit Project webinars. And I talk about different projects that you can do in the weekend in your free time to rev up your revenue, okay? So that, by the way, right now is $10 because there are a few resources that you can put inside of your catch-up kit for $10. One of them is the Cash Flow Goals audio series plus the Position to Profit workbook. Another one is the 17 Weekend Profit Projects. There are a ton of them in there that are $10. Now, what's interesting about that is I'm doing this for the Back on Track series, but also as part of the holiday weekend that we've got happening right now. And so I reached out to my community and I said, listen, I want you to know that the holiday weekend promotions ends on Tuesday because the holidays on Monday, the promotions end on Tuesday. All of those things that are $10, they go up. They go back up to 47, 27, 17. They go back up. Uh, and it's funny because I sent out that message yesterday <laughs> and then I woke up to $10, $10, $10. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, because it works. You know, at the end of the day, you've got to make sure that you're making people aware, not of just your promotions, but those things that are time sensitive and they do end. I could just simply say, okay, they're going to be, um, you know, sometimes we say it's a limited time offer. It's ending shortly. No, it's ending Tuesday. <laughs> so make sure that you get it before Tuesday, right? The more specific you can be about the time sensitive offers that you have, number one, and the more specific you can be about how they are changing. So being clear about, okay, it's $10 now, it's going to go back up to 27 for some of those things and even 47 for a few of those things, making sure those differenti um, differentiating factors are clear is a lot of times what motivates people to take action. Um, it's funny because I said to you, sitting here thinking about the fluffy friend that I have, uh, mentor she Shelly is here and her brand is fluffy and fabulous. So I thought about my son because he's a little bit fluffy on the sides. Uh, I went shopping with him, second uniform shopping, because literally some of the things that I bought for him earlier on in the summer don't even fit today. today. So I was freaking out. We got to go buy more uniform pants. I went to JCPenney's. Uh, I was talking to one of the sales clerks, and then she walked away. And then she came back, and she was like, by the way, um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, tomorrow and this weekend, everything that's in clearance is 50% off because we got to get rid of it. So whatever doesn't sell this weekend, we're getting rid of it. And I was like, okay, so I'll be at JCPenney's this weekend. <laughs> right? Uh, but I share that with you, not just for the humor, number one, but more importantly, number two, when you've got people's attention, make sure that you mention all of the things that they should be know, th th that they should be know. <laughs> Where did that, did that come from? All the things that they should be aware of that's happening right now in your circle, right? So while she had my attention and I was looking for uniform pants for the little one, she was like, listen, I don't know if you know this, but all the stuff in clearance is half off, right? So think about that. What are some things that you're going to be doing and you're going to be in a space where you have people's attention? I love what I watch. Like, for example, I used to watch the BET Awards and celebrities would go on stage and they'd be like, before I say who I need to say, by the way, my, my album is dropping in two days. They're like, hey, <laughs> millions of people are watching BET Awards today. I'm going to just let you know, my album drops on Tuesday. While they have your attention, they are not going to fail to mention there's something that is worth saying, right? There's an offer. There's a promotion that's coming in. So as we're talking about follow-up and follow-throughs, I want you to think about, right? Right? I got the mic. Exactly, Michelle. <laughs> Why you got the mic? I want you to think about... Number one, again, not only who you're going to follow up with this week, but what are some things that you're going to be doing throughout the week or even on the weekend when you have people's attention and how inside of those conversations can you conveniently mention other things that you've got going on in your circle and in your business, right? So as I'm sharing with you different resources too, this is a, a training opportunity, but it is also an opportunity for me to check in and follow up with you about different resources, about different tools, as I talked about the ring light earlier on and the magic, it didn't go off yet. The magic timer is going to go off in 30 seconds. <laughs> um, all of these different resources, make sure that while you do have people's attention, it's the best time to mention those offers that you need them to know about, okay? 
As a matter of fact, I had uh, a mastermind this weekend. Some of you guys are in my mastermind community. And we talked about attention grabbers and freaking irresistible offers, FIOs, content that converts. So there are just so many wonderful things that you can do to make people aware of the things that you've got in your circle. Um, one of the things I talked about as far as content that converts is thinking about how you are proactively putting the content that you want people to see on your website, right? Making sure that the things you want people to see are very visible on multiple pages on your website. So for those of you who do have websites, think about what those offers are that you want to focus on and where you're putting them, okay? Um, attention grabbers, really, really important conversation. Side note, because we only talked about that in the mastermind. Today we're talking about follow-ups and follow through so I'm going to stick to that, okay? <laughs> Um, so definitely make sure, just as a friendly reminder, if you want to get either the 17 Weekend Profit Projects, which is the webinar that I had, uh, or the half off the Smart Start Bundle, you go and click on those links inside of the Back on Track Guide, the Smart Start Bundle number one, number two, creating your catch-up kit. There are several wonderful resources for you right now at $10 inside of the catch-up kit. And for those of you who are looking for a profit project this weekend, you may want to join the Smart Start Affiliate Program so you can become an affiliate, especially those of you who either have entrepreneurial friends that you want to just reach out to and say, hey, uh, this might be something that you want to go and get so that we can partner and you can get some affiliate revenue to tap into some supplemental income. Or if you, like myself, your business is geared towards other small businesses, right? So let us dive back into other types of people that you should be communicating with, okay? Oh, this is a good one. So potential customers, potential customers. Who is right now working on getting customers and you've tried to close a couple of deals and people have reached out and asked you questions? What are some things that you should be doing for your potential customers? I'll share a few of them here with you right now. Um, first and foremost, I had a young lady check in with me maybe about two or three days ago, right? Checked in with me and said, you know what, LaShonda, um, I have a great idea that I think you would be perfect helping me with. Um, I would love to uh, learn more about your one-on-one -on -one services, right? So I said, you know what, I could respond in an email with, you know, this service, this service, this service, and break down everything in the email. Um, but sometimes you don't have the time to sit there and write all of this stuff out. So, <laughs> number one. And number two, sometimes you're, and I love some of you guys, you know, you'll say, oh my gosh, I love your energy. Uh, I, I love people to get some of that energy uh, and hear me and, and, and feel the interest in us working together. So I, as opposed to sending her an email, I sat down and I did a quick audio message and I said, hey, I'm so excited about your interest in the one-on-one -on -one services. Based on what you told me and your idea, there are three different ways in which we potentially might be able to work together. Number one, first way, schedule a clarity call with me. Number two, I am a web designer, so I do offer web packages. But number three, the Look, Learn, Launch program. Do it with me. We can combine your ideas with my web skills and we can do it together so i said okay well outside of what i'm sharing with you in this audio um i do have a support services guide and the link is sense.com forward slash support so everything that i'm sharing with you in the audio get your guide and you can click the links and then we can start working together right whenever you're ready by the way so i sent her an audio message number one right of course at the end of the day if you've got potential customers people who want to work with you Following back up with them is important. That's just number one. But number two, a nice way to put a personal touch on it is audio messages. I have several trainings in which I talk about coaching and clients and how to get those buyers, those browsers to turn into buyers. Um, you'll find a couple of those audio trainings inside of the catch-up kit, by the way, just as a side note. But I've learned so much as a service professional about what you can do to get people comfortable with you, trusting you 
you and wanting to actually buy your services. It's something that I talked about with one of my private clients when we had her clarity call this past Wednesday. And she said, you know what? I love how much I trust you. <laughs> I love that I just love working with you and I want other people to have that feeling when they work with me too. So I said, okay, well, here are some things you need to consider when it comes to people trusting you, right? Meeting people where they are and being understanding of that, right? So me being in a space where I shared with her different ways that we can work together. There are different types of offers, but they're also different price points. She may not be able to afford the big thing. She may be only in a space to afford the little thing. I don't know. I don't judge. I simply provide multiple variations, different types of projects and programs, usually three, because I'm a good, better, best kind of a girl. And so that based on those three solutions, people can figure out which of those resources work best for them. So identifying how I'm going to, number one, put a personal touch on it. Number two, provide some sort of downloadable resource that allows me to reach out to many people quickly is important. So here's the deal. If you're a service professional, eventually you're going to find yourself answering the same questions over and over and over and over <clears throat> again. So having something like a support guide where all the useful links and all the stuff is breaking down, I can simply send out that guide every single time somebody comes back to me versus me every single time having to spend the time to write all that stuff out to, again. Does that make sense? Because some of you guys are service professionals and especially when you're trying to get back on track, time is of the essence. And you may find that sometimes your time is being drained with busy work. And you're like, oh, I need a VA to do this and I need a VA to do that. One of my best VAs are my power PDFs. So when I create these documents, then when people come to me, I can quickly give them the documents that answer all the questions that they need without skipping a beat. So my power PDFs, like the support document at citizensense.com forward slash support, that's number one, the personalized message, number two, the follow-up, the follow-through, just ultimately the best thing that you can do, right? So thinking about those potential customers, what can you do? Who should you be reaching out to right now? What are some pivotal questions that you always get? Always, 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 always. So one of the fabulous things about doing the live streams is that oftentimes I'm reconnecting with people who I haven't seen in a long time and they're reconnecting with me and then they check in and say, oh my gosh, I need to get a, on a call with you. How do I do that? Call me .com. Common question. Always, always, always. How do I get on a call with you? How can we connect? I need to book a session. Call me .com, Right? So you got to think about if you want to be more consistent with your follow up and your follow throughs, not only are you going to identify those people you should be connecting to right now, but identify how you can make it easier for yourself to connect with people in the future. So making sure that I'm prepared for when people want to schedule a call, making sure that I'm prepared when they want support services, having a document or a guide that quickly lays out those support services, That are those are all things that I do. By the way, if these are things that you feel like you're falling through on, that you need support on, I can help you. So I had one of my clients recently say, you know, LaShonda, I want people to take me seriously. I need my booking page together. I need my back end together. And I said, okay, let's do that together, right? The Look, Learn, Launch, Done With You program, I can do that with you. I can help you with your service pages. I can help you with your packages and your PDFs. You can write this stuff out and put these things in documents, but if you find that either you're not technically inclined or you don't like the the design or for whatever reason you find that you're in a space where even though you want to do these things you don't have the t time then get the support right some of this conversation is you being honest with yourself and checking up with yourself and saying am I following through with these things and if I'm not where am I dropping the ball and if I'm dropping the ball in these places, where can I get support from somebody or somebody's who I can add on to my team, right? So thinking about some things that you can do with potential customers is really important. Following up with your team, that's another type of follow-up that you should consider. As I mentioned, team, it's definitely one of the items on my list. And for me, my team is comprised of different people. So, you know, I mentioned to you that the Smart Start Business Bundle is half off for the holiday weekend. That's something that not only am I sharing with the email list, but my, my affiliate partners, because I want to make sure that they know so they can then go and share that 
with their community, number one. Number two, my power partners, the people who are my experts that I want to speak at my events and send me content that I want to work with, that I want to be on their podcast, that I want to interview, my power partners, people who I know I need to be working with that I'm not currently working with, the people I want to be power partners, I've got to follow up with them too, right? So who is on your team, who you need to be on your team, your affiliate partners, your power partners, your associates, how, who do you need to follow up with, right? Who do you need to follow up with? So yesterday, I had a follow-up clarity call with a client because she wasn't able to do the call on Wednesday, so we did it on Thursday. Uh, and she said, LaShonda, I want to rebrand. So we spent an hour talking about how she was going to rebrand and launch a new offer. I helped her put together the offer. And then I said, you know what? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. First of all, is this the brand offer that you want to do? She's like, listen, I put it in my permanent marker. <laughs> I got my Sharpies. This is the brand, LaShonda. I love it. I'm running with it. I said, okay, good. Uh, so we're going to work on a couple of things. And I developed graphics for her because she said, you know what, LaShonda, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of these things, you've laid it out in a way that it sounds super easy, but I still feel like I'm going to struggle with getting all of this done. Because I said, okay, we want to work on having a working starting date of October, right? Um, and she said, you know, I mean, it sounds good and everything sounds super easy, but I'm just, I feel like I'm going to struggle with this. And I said, okay, well, that's why I'm here, right? So we started off the process with me working on the branding, uh, and she saw the brand images last night. Literally, I did the clarity call with her. Her call was on at 2 p.m. Then I worked on two other client projects, and I pulled an all-nighter last night. I think about 8 o'clock, I sent her the graphics for that, and she said, oh, my God, I love these graphics. We got to use these now, 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 now. <laughs> Right. So, you know, being in a space where you've got people on your team who's, who can either provide you with steps by step solutions or who can do some of the work for you or with you so that you can move forward based on the dates that you want to accomplish these things. Really, really, really important. So me following up with her is just an example of you following up with who you need to be following up with so that you can get these things done in your business as well. OK, so. Let's, before I get into the final part of this conversation around follow through, um, let's quickly recap here some of the people that you should be checking in with, right? Again, people who either you want to work with or who want to work with you, your team, your email list, your clients, your new clients, your previous clients, your current clients, your potential clients, all of those clients, so, so very important. Now, I talked about the potential clients just a while ago, but the new clients are equally important. This week, I have acquired a new web design client. Super, super excited to be working with her. After our call and after her purchasing her web package, immediately I sent her what I call the getting started guide. And I said, listen, Everything that you need to send me so we can start working on this website is inside of this document. So the support services guide, the back on track guide, the getting started guide, those are my virtual VA so that I'm consistently making sure that in a timely professional manner, I can follow up with my client base. So I always tell clients, I work at your pace. You can start to send me the content when you're ready and we'll go from there. But just in case, of course, I'll follow with her, with, up with her next week if I haven't heard from her to say, just want to make sure that you got your guide you don't have any questions, boom, bam, boom, right? So thinking about the experience, thinking about what you want to create for your existing client base, your new clients, your potential clients, these are really bigger, larger conversations around follow-up. Because follow-up, yes, starts with the direct individuals or lists, right? But then it also talks about your systems and the processes that you want to set up in the back end so that you're making sure that in the future, things are working up, working better for you, okay? So your follow-up is so important. Now, among all of these different types of people that I've mentioned today, by the way, follow-ups, again, as a friendly reminder, is follow-up Friday is one of the days inside of the Position to Profit Planner, um, and that cash flow guide, position to profit planner audio series is as part of the cash flow kit um, that's in your back on track guide. The last person that I want to talk about today with respect to follow up is you. You need to follow up with you. 
And I know that sounds strange. Like, what do you mean I need to follow up with you? <laughs> you need to follow up with yourself. So think about it. If you're a service professional, sometimes there are people in your circle who they come to you, they talk to you on the phone or via email, and they're super, super interested in working with you. And then for whatever reason, it doesn't happen, right? Or you go to an event and you meet people and you're like, I want to work with you. And they're like, I want to work with you too. And then it doesn't happen. The follow through is so important when the fire fizzles. So just as the fire may fizzle with individuals that you're connecting with, the fire may fizzle with you. I need you to identify for yourself those things that you said, oh, I'm so excited about working with this thing on myself for myself and this is so interesting, but the fire fizzled and you didn't do it. Now's the time to sit down and follow up with you and def define those things that you said you were going to do. Well, I was supposed to do dot, dot, dot. So the last thing that I want to share with you is this. I want you today to consider taking five, 10 minutes, not longer than 10 minutes to put together an I was supposed to follow through list. So think about some things that you say, I was supposed to do this and this and this and this and this. Follow up with you so that you can start working through those things. So I want you to first thing, identify that for yourself. And then second thing, I really want to dig into the follow through conversation around times when you feel like maybe tomorrow, right? You know, so yesterday, again, I pulled an all nighter. I tried to do a lot of things for a lot of clients yesterday, plus work on a few of my projects as well. So it was a long day. And at some point I said to myself, man, I know that I've been doing these live. And you know, I don't do live all the time. So for me to do live streams for a week or two weeks or three weeks, it takes a lot out of me. <laughs> I said, well, you know, uh, maybe I don't do the back on track num number five tomorrow. Maybe I do it another day. But the follow through is so important. The follow through is so important. One of the things that I always remember to remind myself is a really powerful message. And it says, there are people out there who are less qualified than you doing the things that you want to do. Now, some of that is because they believe in themselves more than you believe in yourself. And sometimes we have to reality check ourselves and think about, am I confident enough? Do I confidently believe in myself enough to say, I'm going to do this? That's number one. But number two, some of these things is their follow through. You know, maybe they're not as experienced as you or professional as you, but they are consistently following through. So I'm sitting here going, I'm tired. I don't want to do this live stream today. And folks is doing two and three and four live streams a day, right? And I'm like, I don't want to do this live stream today. You got to check yourself on your follow through. And I said, no, let's, let's, let's be clear. You're doing what you need to do. You said you were going to do the whole series, do the whole series. You're reaching new customers. You're reconnecting with older customers. You're having fun. You're doing this fabulous series that's going to kick off the back-to-back -back virtual, back-to-business virtual conference to happening in a couple of months. Do the follow through. Now, I'm telling you where I fall off on follow through because I don't want you to feel this is me talking at you, but this is something that we all struggle with. I need you to check yourself where there are things on your list that you go, uh, I know I said I was going to do it, but uh, push yourself, push through the exhaustion, push through the fatigue, push through the whispers that tells you to put it off or, you know, give yourself a cheat day. I said, girl, you just did three or four days of live streams. You ain't ready for a cheat day yet. <laughs> you ain't ready for a skip day yet. Do a couple more days and then check it with me, right? Keep going. I know it's going to take up more time than you would like to. I know that it's a lot of work. I know that sometimes you're a little bit tired. I know that the porch is hot outside and you'd be sweating like a hot mess. Do the work. Do the work, right? So as I'm checking myself and I check myself and got my butt in front of the camera with the ring light on so I can come here to talk to you, think about where you need to power through and do the work with your follow through, right? Number two, when it comes to follow through, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. So I said to you, I need you to make a list of the I was supposed to follow through list. I was supposed to do this. I was supposed to start that. Make that list. Take five to ten minutes. Brain dump it. Don't think too hard about it. Just I was supposed to do this, 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 and this. Stick to the plan. Do those things. Knock them out. Get it done. Follow through. Oh, I was supposed to talk to so-and-so and, -so and uh, they're not going to come back to me. They ain't going to follow up. It ain't going to work whispers 
Remember I said to you, there are certain things that you have to let go of. On Throwback Thursday, if you didn't watch that web class, go back and watch the replay. The replays, by the way, the link to the replays inside of your BOTG back on track guide, right? Um, I said, there's some things you have to let go of. One of those things is letting go of the negative thoughts, the whispers, right? So you are supposed to reach out or you're supposed to create a proposal for or do something that's going to help elevate you. And then the whispers come in. Don't even bother. It's not going to work. They're not going to get back to you. Who are you, you know, to want to work with them? They're at a higher level than you. Whatever is coming in, trying to deter you or tell you to put it off or you tired or it ain't going to work, power through so that you can focus on your follow through. So those are the kind of things that I want you to do today to check yourself when it comes to your follow through. Make that I was supposed to list and take a look at some things that you need to knock out and get done, whether it be today or this weekend, especially if you've got some free time on the weekend. And as I mentioned before, if you find that there are spots in your business, in your productivity, where you just, to the best of your ability, you keep follow falling short on the follow through then get the support that you need to do what you need to do so i'm super super excited to be working with my client uh, on her rebranding we did the logo i did some graphics for her and when she saw the graphics it was like a shot of red bull she was like oh my god yes we gotta do this we gotta do this now right you know if you need some support if you need help with your content with your as i mentioned earlier on um, I shared with one of my clients the latest edition of his magazine, helping clients do self-published magazines is something that I did, um, you know, starting with the first magazine that I did, my Sister Sense in Print, uh, and then me just kind of, you know, sharing that, uh, people got, ex got excited about me working with them. And I'm going to be honest with you, especially for my service professionals out there, that is how I've built my business. I have a Bosley business. Y'all know Bosley? You remember Bosley commercials when the guy would be like, I'm not only the president, I'm also a, a customer, right? Because he was bald and he did Bosley too. You know, the, the face of the company. Me, everything that I've done, whether it be my website or my graphics, every time I put out stuff, I get clients because they look at my stuff or they look at the stuff that I've done for other people and they go, wow, I want to work with you. So making sure that not only are you putting out there your, um, your offers, but you're showing the results. You're showing people examples of your work and you're telling people about who you're working with. You're going into your work. So I've been for the last few days going inside of the Position to Profit Planner and the Cash Flow Goals audio series with you. How often do you do that? You've got books, you've got courses, and you're sitting there waiting for people to buy it, but they know nothing about it because you're not taking them inside of it, right? This is what the follow-up and the follow-through is all about. So for those of you who are marketing and you're doing one or two marketing promotions, but you're not doing a consistent follow-through, you're not taking people inside the process, you're not showing the results or the examples, these are things that you are AIMS missing, right? For me, I love that acronym AIMS, am I missing something? These are some of just the real talk things that you may be missing. Hey, good morning, Kim. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are talking about back on track tip number five on how you need to focus on your follow-ups and your follow-through so you can do the things that you need to do to get back on track. I'm just about to wrap up the recap of this session for today. Make sure that number one, if you're catching me on the replay side or at the ending of this live today, you go and get your back on track free PDF guide at sense.com forward slash B-O-T-G. B-O-T-G stands for a back on track guide. It's so important. In there, you'll get the links to all of the re replays that I've been doing for the Back on Track series, plus all of the resources that I've been talking about. Number one. Number two, just to recap for you, follow up and follow throughs. Think about three things that you need to do as far as three types of people you need to follow up with. Your email list, your subscribers, your followers, your customers, new, old, existing, potential, your partners, your teams, your affiliates, all those people. Think about who you need to reach out to. Number one. Number two, systems. In addition to you specifically reaching out to specific people, what systems can you put in place so you can automate or make the process easier for you to connect and communicate with clients when they are 
reaching out to you and you need to follow back up with them, right? And then, of course, I mentioned to you so many wonderful things around follow through, identifying that short list of things that you say, I was supposed to, dot, 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 make sure that you do those things. Checking yourself when some negative internal voices tell you, ah, don't do that, put it off for later, make this your cheat day, right? Or it's not going to work, don't even bother doing that anymore. That idea was great, but forget it. Make sure that you power through those negative thoughts so that you can follow through and do the things that you originally were so excited about setting out to do. And then identify for yourself where you feel like you are falling through your cracks when it comes to productivity so that if you need somebody or somebodies to help you with that accountability or support team, you can get those people in place to work with you. I do have an accountability circle, and one of the things that I try to do is make sure that inside of my mastermind, we can consistently have accountability calls inside of the outside of the projects and the concepts and the you know things that I teach. Having those accountability calls really, really important so I can make sure that my ladies are staying on top of the things that they need to do. And this is just an opportunity for me to share some of those recommendations with you. So that is it for my conversation for today. Back to on track tip number five. Again, make sure that you get your resource guide, number one, number two, the weekend. The holiday weekend is in full effect. I do have some good, good for you, like the Smart Start Business Bundle, which is half off this weekend. So make sure you go and grab it. And of course, if you get into a space where you have any con questions or confusion around anything that you find, inside of the back on track guide email me email sisasense at gmail.com questions about those resources and or just business questions in general that you may have for me and then of course when you go to the sisasense.com website you can always click the gray tab on the right to send me a voice message alrighty my dears have a great holiday weekend continue to create amazing and hopefully real soon I'll be right back here with another dose of back on track daily direction <laughs>